He is, uh, he is a great guy. Oh, really? A fun guy to be around, fun guy to talk baseball with. I might bust that camera right in half, man. He was one of those guys I could go up to and ask questions, and he'd give me an honest answer, something I still apply to my game today. Oh, it's a huge day for Canadians. Why is that? Because uh, Canadians have the best hockey team. I don't know. Larry Walker dreamed of being an NHL player, a goalie to be specific, and has now backstopped his way into Cooperstown in the Major League Baseball Hall of Fame. You know, you're, you're born in Canada. You got, you're coming into the world with a hockey stick and skates on, and, and uh, that's what you do. His idol was Billy Smith of the New York Islanders, and Walker sharpened his skills between the pipes against one of his childhood pals. Talking about my homie, Cam Neely. Future Hall of Famer, Cam Neely. But after being cut from several Western Hockey League teams at the age of 16, Walker focused all his career aspirations on baseball. I never played high school ball, never played college ball, and uh, I was way behind all the American kids when I first came over. Larry was selected to join the Canadian team at the 1984 World Youth Championships in Kindersley, Saskatchewan. At the tournament, he caught the eye of Expo scouting director Jim Fanning after hitting a home run with a wooden bat, in contrast to all the other players who are using metal bats. You can believe in yourself, you gotta believe in yourself if you're gonna succeed. Fanning signed Walker for $1,500 as an amateur free agent. At that time, Canadians were not eligible to be selected through the Major League Baseball draft. Walker ended up being a steal. Here comes Walker! He got it! Larry played baseball in a way that would make a hockey player proud. Fearless, brazen, and incredibly productive during his long and distinguished career. It's gonna go! Come on! And Larry Walker says, see you later! Throughout Walker's 17 years in the big leagues, playing for the Montreal Expos, Colorado Rockies, and St. Louis Cardinals, he was a classic five-tool player. Six tools if you count how cerebral he was. What a play by Larry Walker! Gold Glover! Dubbed the accidental ball player by Sports Illustrated, the pride of Maple Ridge, British Columbia, had a season for the ages in 1997. Larry Walker making three! Wow! Can you say MVP? Walker became the only player in Major League history to register both a 700 slugging percentage and 30 stolen bases in the same season on his way to winning the most valuable player. I go up and down the stairs at my house this afternoon after I found out. I don't think I actually hit any of the stairs. I just kind of glided up the stairs. In honor of Canada's 150th anniversary of Confederation on July 1st, 2017, the Sports Network named Walker's achievement of winning the Most Valuable Player Award among the nation's most iconic sports moments. Boy, is he something else. The first player in more than 60 years to record a batting average of 360 or higher in three consecutive seasons from 1997 to 1999. Walker was a three-time National League batting champion. He won seven gold gloves, was a five-time All-Star, and earned three Silver Slugger awards to go along with nine Tip O'Neill awards. Look at Larry Walker again. Tip O'Neill was the first Canadian to win the Triple Crown back in 1887, and thus the award was given annually to the top Canadian baseball player. Walker was recognized as the top Canadian athlete in 1998 with the Lou Marsh Trophy. Larry Walker is in fuego. Larry Walker has never forgotten his roots. Since 2009, he has coached the Canadian national team. In that time, Team Canada has competed in three World Baseball Classic tournaments and twice at the Pan Am Games, winning consecutive gold medals in 2011 and 2015. His impact back home is measurable, said fellow Canadian pitcher Jeff Francis. He was the standard for the height baseball in Canada. If you went to a provincial championship, his picture was on your t-shirt. If you went to play in Maple Ridge, you're playing at Larry Walker Field. He was that unreachable dream for kids who let you know is reachable that a Canadian could go do it. Congrats and thanks, Larry.